Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error. That is, Minecraft is currently not available in your account and the error code is 0x803f8001. So if you are receiving this error message while installing Minecraft from Microsoft Store, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to sign out and sign in again with correct user account, correct email and password with which you have ordered the game. So on the top on the top right here you can see a profile icon click on it then select your account then click on sign out then again click on the profile icon then click on sign in select your account click on continue and then enter your password or pin and then once you're logged in you can go ahead and try to install minecraft now still you're facing the problem in that case make sure date and time is correct on your computer so on the bottom right here you can see the date and time over here so make a right click on the date and time make a right click then click on adjust date and time now make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically is on and make sure date and time is correct over here then click on sync now and then you can go ahead and try to install the game now still you are facing the problem in that case run windows store troubleshooter for this go to the start menu then click on settings then click on update and security and then click on troubleshoot then click on additional troubleshooter scroll down click on windows store apps and then click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete try to install the game the next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so type in WS reset in Windows search box, make a right click on WS reset, then click on run as administrator. And here you can see this black screen. Do not close this black screen. Uh, just wait for a few seconds or maybe a minute for this black screen to go away. Once this black screen. So here you can see uh, black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. So you can go ahead and try to install the game. Now still you're facing the problem in that case update windows 10 for this go to the start menu then click on settings click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then use store. The next step is to update apps so open Microsoft stores uh, store and on the top right here you can see the three dots over here click on this three dot then click on download and updates and then click on get updates and once that is done you can go ahead and use store. The next step is to reset store app for this open windows 10 settings then go to apps and over here you can go ahead and type in store and then click on microsoft store then click on advanced options scroll down and over here you can see the reset option click on reset reset and once the reset is done open microsoft store and then install the game the next step is to restart windows update microsoft store install and background intelligence service for this go ahead and type in services in windows search box then click on services find windows update in the list scroll down and here you can see windows update make a double click on it make sure startup type is set to automatic click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok with windows update selected over here click on restart do the same thing with uh, microsoft store install service make a double click over here select it automatic apply if start is highlighted click on start with microsoft store install select it click on restart and now do the same thing with the background intelligence service so make a double click on background intelligent transfer service make sure startup is set to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok and with this selected click on restart and then you can go ahead and try to use store now still you are facing the problem in that case run this parcel command to re-register the microsoft store for this copy this command all the commands are provided in the video description so copy it make a right click on the start menu then click on windows parcel admin click on yes to allow and paste the first command over here then hit the enter key and once this is done copy the second command paste it over here hit the enter key and once this is done you can go ahead and try to use store now still you're facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall store to uninstall you can go ahead and open parcel once again make a right click on the start menu click on windows parcel admin make sure that you're opening parcel as an admin so click on parcel admin then click on yes to allow 
and open uh, run the first command which will go ahead and uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. So paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will go ahead and uninstall Microsoft Store. So if you type in store, you will not find store anywhere after this. Now go ahead and restart your computer. And after you restart the computer, open parcel once again, make a right click, then click on Windows parcel admin, click on yes to allow. Now copy this command over here. Make a, um, paste it over here, hit the enter key. This will go ahead and reinstall Microsoft Store. So you can go ahead and type in store now. It may take a couple of seconds. So type in store once again. Now here you can see Microsoft Store. Open it and then try to install the game. The next step is to run DISM and SFC scan. So for this, type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Then click on run. Run is administrator. Then click on yes to allow. Run the first command over here. Copy this command, paste it, hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, now once this is 100% complete, run this second scan. So copy it, paste it over here. Once this is complete, hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, you restart your computer and then use store. Then the next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So type in inetcpl.cpl in Windows search box, then click on inetcpl.cpl. Go to the advanced tab, scroll down, and here you can see use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. So make sure everything is checked. If anything is unchecked, go ahead and make sure that everything is checked over here, which says you use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Everything is checked and then click on apply. Okay. And then try to use store. The next step is to update Windows 10 using media creation tool. So if nothing is working at the end, you can go ahead and update your Windows 10 using media creation tool. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download tool now. Run this exe file. Once the download is complete, run this exe file. You will see this screen. Click on accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next and it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take time. Once the download is complete, you will see the screen which, say, which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now, when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So by default, this is checked. Do not make any changes. So make sure this is checked so that you don't lose any data on the computer and then click on install. And after the installation, you can log into your computer and you can install my Minecraft and you should not receive this error message anymore. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.